Are you ever building something simple in JavaScript and then go, whoa, 20 kilobytes is a lot to just format a string here. I'm just trying to turn a date to a relative time string like this. When you're in this situation, it's important to remember that the web platform has been evolving a lot and these days has solutions to common problems like this built in. I could instead use the new international.relativeTimeFormat class to generate human readable strings for relative days and times. For instance, to create the same output we just had with no dependencies at all. We can choose any locale or just provide the browser's currently set language. And we can choose any time delta and unit, such as seconds, years, months, minutes, and get exactly what we expect, nicely formatted by the browser itself. So now we can write our own little function that can take a date and then give us a nicely formatted time string, which you can write in less than 20 lines of code, which I'll include a link to this in the end. And now we'll get exactly what we wanted, nice and light and fast. And if you don't want to even have to write that yourself, the date functions open source library has a great method already built for you. There's a thin wrapper over the browser native API we just showed and will cost you less than two kilobytes. So whether you install a wrapper or roll your own, just know that modern JavaScript has you covered. Relative time format is supported by all major browsers as well as Node.js and Dino. And you can learn more about it, including all the code I featured here in my latest blog post on the builder.io blog.